Hi, this is Clint with Everything Studios. Uh, today we're going to go over the new Magic Lantern. Uh, basically they just released the 2.3. It is, as of today, still in beta, but it's going to be pretty close to what it's going to be for the full release. If you go to Magic Lantern's website, uh, you can actually download it if you donate uh, 10 euros or more, which is about $12 US, and they'll give you access to this so you can test it and try it out. The big thing that's uh, with this release is it's going to be compatible with the 5D Mark II. So I shoot with the T2i and um, one of my other operators has a 5D. So I was really wanting to have the same Magic Lantern on both cameras. So now um, they have, they've made this happen. So thank you very much uh, to the developers out there. And basically, so we're just going to go over some of the features that I use. This isn't necessarily a tutorial for the whole uh, feature set of Magic Lantern, but this is going to be for what I use in day-to-day -day filmmaking. And like I said, this is going to be for version 2.3, which is the newest version for Magic Lantern. So first of all, we're going to get it installed on our cards, format our cards, and uh, basically get it put onto um, your Canon DSLR of choice that's compatible. So now let's put our SD card in. Once you have that installed in the in the computer, we're going to. This is only going to be for Windows, so uh, sorry if you have a Mac. Uh, we're going to right click and go to Manage, and you want to go to your Disk Management, and you want to go down to your SD card, whatever it is, and uh, right click on it and click Format and um, whatever it is, uh, usually it's going to be either XFAT or uh, FAT32 I believe, so you, that's what's usually going to be for a SD card. So we'll go ahead and just uh, do a format. Okay. And you can do this inside your camera as well. Um, actually it's probably better to do, but it's going to work either way the same. So now you want to uh, basically uh, go into that SD card so there's nothing in there and we're gonna you've already downloaded your magic lantern um, if you donated you can get access to it or if you wait a little bit longer I'm sure they'll release it in the next uh, week or two um, so basically the first thing you want to do is you want to use the EOS card uh, which you can download from magic lanterns website as well You want to double click on that and run that and you want to click on refresh, make sure it sees your card. So there's our 64 gig card. You want to click on the EOS develop and the boot disk. And you want to click save. And you'll see it says write successful. And if you don't feel like you did it, then you could do it again. But um, you can refresh and should be uh, good to go for you. So you can close that out. And then Here's our, uh, this is the Magic Lantern I used before, that was the December 22nd, which was great. And so we're going to, here's our 2.3, go in there, and we want to just copy all that, highlight it and copy it. And now we want to paste it onto our card. And you should be ready to go. Now that we've got Magic Lantern installed, let's go ahead and turn the camera on. So you can see here, this is what the basic menu looks like, and to access it you're going to want to push the trash can menu. And the biggest thing that I think is very important is with Magic Lantern is AGC. It defaults, it has this off, so this is going to take off the automatic gain control, which will basically make your sound a lot clearer and let you control it manually. So you know, whatever you need to have this on. Um, you can adjust this and what's nice about this uh, release is you press set and you can go up and down. This used to be different so it's so much easier to use now which I really like. So adjust that and that's the analog gain. That's what you're going to want to use the most of. The digital gain will give you a little bit more noise so you want to try to you know not to use that if, if possible. And You can see it's in a red color so it's telling you hey try not to use me if you can. Um, you know, you can control back and forth from 
an internal mic, external, you know, that kind of thing. So you got that there. Um, another big thing is using the white balance in Kelvin, which is really awesome uh, for the T2i. And you can, you know, take that uh, wherever you need it to be. So right now, 4100 looks pretty good for this. And uh, you can go up and down while you're still in that to, to control different things. You can control your ISO. Um, you know, your ISOs that you're going to want to use the most are 160, 320, 640. Uh, you can use the 800, but the 1250 is a good one to use. And those are going to be like the, the main four you want to use. But you obviously can go up higher to 6400, which is probably not going to be very usable past really 1250. You could use 1600, but I try to not go past 1250. And uh, you can control your shutter from here as well, which is nice. It's a really nice feature. And so. Um, another big thing that I really like with Magic Lantern, this is a, a, a big deal for me, is your focus peaking. So you can turn focus peaking on, and now it's going to tell you what is in focus and what is not. So you see how we got the, the bar stool right there in focus, and then we rack out to the door. You see how it puts the red dots on the door? So that is a really awesome feature um, that I use on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm filming because say you have some movement in the scene and you want to be able to rack focus and back, back and forth, you want to make sure that you know what's in focus and what's critical focus. Big deal for me. So I really enjoy that feature. Also, another thing I use is Magic Zoom. So I'll turn that on. And basically you can push uh, the, zoom out here a little bit for you. You can push the little plus button right here on the T2i. That's going to bring that up for you. So now you can move this little square around with the arrows. And say you're doing an interview and you want to get super critical focus, you can make sure that you got that perfect focus right there. So it's a pretty awesome feature and it turns green. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that little square turns green when you have critical focus. Big deal for me. I use that quite a bit. And you can just press uh, the plus button to get that back off. And we'll go trash can back in there again. And uh, the other thing that I use quite a bit is movie restart. That is key for weddings. Um, if you shoot any kind of weddings, I usually shoot a three camera setup. And I'll, I'll be on a camera and I'll have another operator on the other side camera and usually I'll have um, a camera in the back just running by itself kind of a backup angle if I don't have another operator so by having this it's basically as soon as you hit that 12 minute uh, indicator it's going to basically restart itself so that's really awesome you'll lose about three seconds of time but not a big deal because you have other um, you know, you have other cameras going, so you can just switch to another one. Make sure you're recording your audio in, in a task cam or a Zoom, whatever you prefer. And uh, that's, for me, that's the most I use. You can see there's quite a bit of stuff in here that you can use. Um, I just, I don't really use any of this stuff, to be honest with you. I might, um, I'd like to get into doing some time lapses. Uh, I think is a pretty cool thing uh, for, you know, some B-roll. And I know that's in here somewhere. Let's see. Intervalometer, there you go. So you can turn this on and, and uh, I think it's, what is it, Q? Yeah, so you can tell it, um, you know, how, how often you want it to take a picture and, and um, you know, tell it when it, you want it to start. So that's, that's a pretty cool feature I'll probably start using in the future. But, um, and I believe you can do HDR photos with that as well. So that's pretty cool. But uh, that's not something I really use a lot, but I would like to. And uh, you can, there's other stuff on here with the HDR video. You can make some cool video. Luke Newman does some neat things with that. But uh, like I said, it's not a lot of stuff that I use. I use the movie restart, so turn that on. 
and I use the magic zoom and you can adjust settings with this as well. Uh, the default on there is pretty good for me. Um, but focus peaking I use. Um, zebras are very helpful if you, if you don't know how to expose properly. I usually use the little bars that are right there on the camera. Um, but, you know, that'll definitely help you. Um, so that's, that's basically what I use. The audio, you definitely want to make sure your AGC is off and, and uh, use it for adjusting your white balance, ISO, shutter. And you can do all this while you're recording. So uh, let me know if you have any questions on that. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Magic Lantern 2.3 for the T2i. Uh, please subscribe and let me know what else you would like to see. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and just leave a comment on what questions you have and I'll try to answer those as quickly as I can. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a blessed day.